Hi there, it's Bruce with Nature Calls. We're backpacking up in the Ingalls Lake region. You can see all around, it's just beautiful. What I have here is the latest model, 2017 model of the Hilbert Onion 2 GT. They include the Curlon 1000, and I'll go over all the attributes that it has, but it's considered a three season tint. Um, I humped it right up here, it's four pound 10 ounces. Uh, we did uh, 25, 3,000 feet, or 27,000 feet, 3,700 feet yesterday. Um, you know, it was just straight up, and I had my backpack no problem. So, straight tent. Uh, let's go through how we set it up and all the different great features. It sounds 10 ounces, and that includes everything. That includes the bags, pegs, um, everything. So. And with the with the Onion GT Onion 2GT, you get 16 of these. You get 16 of these there. So when people start comparing, people start comparing tents. A lot of tents only have a few of those. They give you as much as you need. We'll peg those. The wind is coming. In this direction. It's really not too bad though. So we got this end peg down and then we'll go ahead and put the hoops in. With the GT you've got three three hoops. And you got one that's longer than the other two. So the one that's longer would probably go in the middle, and the shorter would go at each end. And these are, since it's a red label tent, these are probably the nine millimeter. These are probably the nine millimeter DAC Featherlight NSLs. Make sure you get all your holes all the way connected in. Gonna get you're gonna have trouble with your tent. It's probably most likely gonna be the poles. Find the spot to put it in, put it across. This is a new for this 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 newer model. They're doing the full sleeves, which is just great. You can handle everything from one side. You make sure it's seated into that other pocket over there. And bring it up it's got a little cup and then you just tighten that up to the base of the tent there we go let's do the other two now the middle pole has red tape on it so and then this pole here has a red ribbon that way you know which what With all Hilleberg tents, their pole sleeve design is a much heavier duty um, material than the rest of the tent. But you got the Pulls in, just lift up, bring it down. Now it's all out. This is actually set up, so we can we can go ahead and go around, and tighten it. We got little tighteners. Put my stakes down a little further. Get nice and taut. Good. Now we'll go around and just for safety sakes, we'll put up the stakes for the, the guy lines. Being the red label tent, they use these, it's a, DAC, a Vectran line, but it's a lighter weight, I think it's two millimeter. And it's got really nice line locks on it. You never want to pull those too tight to deform the arc. That's just super. I'll go stake it all out now. style 
uh, of Lucia's model, you'll see these catenary cuts down here. And they found that just totally increases the, the airflow all the way around. You'll find these cat cuts, plus, of course, it reduces some of the weight. But as, uh, with the Curl On 1000, these cat cuts and the vents, which we'll get into later, you've got great ventilation. And this is the vestibule, and you have real nice rain cover. It's a rubberized rain sheet. You can go from either way so you can add ventilation from the top. You can open it up from the bottom. So here we have this great vestibule where you can put all your gear. So the tent part itself is, is a two person tent. It's all two person. You don't have to put any of your gear in there. Right here, you swing around. So here in these three season tents, you get all mesh instead of a snow mesh. And then right here, you can see how the Hillebrick tents are suspended off the outer. So it all goes up together. And then if there is any condensation, it hits this, this outer and then just drains down. Now the inner also has a DWR and you can use the inner as a tent without the outer. back and of course you have a much tougher bathtub floor and in the back of the tent you've got this huge huge mesh back here so I'm six feet tall so I'm touching right here a little place to hang your clothes to dry you can definitely sit up tall in the front these are designed for people over six feet tall. Like my feet are touching the ends, so that's where you wouldn't want the wind pressing down on the on the outer. So you put the this end away from the wind and this in the wind. Very nice. You guys see the camera? Here we are back. Here looking forward, there's McKenna. A real nice. It's a view out of the tent. I'm at home and I forgot to show one of the cooler options that you can do with this tent other than just setting up the inner by itself is kind of retracting the back of the tent or the foot end of the tent. So to do that, I like to set my my back guy lines kind of pointing towards the back. What we'll do is we'll detach. What we'll do now is we'll detach the inner from the outer on the very back and then restake out the inner. Push that up. We take the outer, detach it from its ring. And you have to actually put tension on it. You do that for both sides. This is where having this back a little tighter, pulling it, that'll keep the rest of the tent nice. So that's why I have these guy lines pointed back. It'll help. It'll help, re, it'll help regain that tension of the tent. So now what we do is we just roll this back, and as you roll it, you bring it over the top and hold it as you do it. That slick curl on effect here. You got the, the ventilated vent here, the breathable tent. So if it's hot out, sunny like this, you know, this is all you need. All right, so there you have it. It's the Hillberg Onion 2 GT up here in the beautiful Ingalls Lake area. And uh, I think it's a great tent that uh, most backpackers, you can also get it without the, the GT model on if you want to lose some more weight, but fantastic tent and uh, it would definitely withhold any windstorm up here. Alright, see you on the trail. Bye now.